follow me or would you let it be if i leave tonight we could do this right we'll find the remedy or would you stay with me now till the morning light. the person i work with messaged me on instagram this morning saying are you coming in today and i was like thanks for that message that's just giving me anxiety like that i've got the wrong day or you make up your mind that i'm nowhere to find them sunshines how is everybody doing can we just ignore the elephant in the room let's not discuss it let's just sweep past it real quick the sun is not my friend we're not getting on but anyway how is everybody doing i thought i would take you along with my day today i have a day off work i'm gonna go to my new gym then i'm going to meet my friends at the beach for a swim and she's actually going home in two days we just get on so well and then she went traveling and now she's back in sydney last night we went for dinner but today she's leaving like she's not even just leaving sydney she's going home which I'm not happy about because you make friends here and then they leave. <laughs> but I'm so excited because I got some new jewelry from Anna Luisa. You probably haven't even noticed because I wear these every day and have been for like the last three weeks, but they sent me these earrings and I actually had some very similar ones in Bali, but they were just basically a cheap version. And then Anna Luisa sent me some jewelry and they sent me these and I was like, Hun. these are the exact same as the ones I wear all the time I'm obsessed and they're such good quality I also got this bracelet which adds to like my little lovely stack I'm here for a stack of bracelets <laughs> can you see that it honestly looks so expensive and then I also got these two rings which I've stacked on top just similar to these ones that I stack and they're just like my everyday rings now I just love a gold and silver vibe because this is gold and silver too this is what my dad got me from Greece to protect me and it's done well protecting me so far I had to take it off the other night though for jujitsu I did a jujitsu class which was really funny but you obviously have to take all of your jewelry off because it's like self-defense and I was like to the guy I'm not taking it off I just hid it under what I was wearing and he was like I'm gonna be honest with you if you're not gonna take it off it's gonna get broken and I know how important it is to you so I would recommend taking it off and then I was like all right honey take it off for me then i put it straight back on you know it was fine i'm still protected i'm still protected and jujitsu was really fun <laughs> i'd recommend it anna louisa have very kindly given me a discount code which is becky clements 20 for 20 percent off huns buy your friends some jewelry i i think i'm gonna buy hope one of these bracelets because we broke our friendship bracelet before I come here so we ended up getting a tattoo the yin and yang <laughs> but we need a new friendship bracelet so I'm thinking of buying her this so that we match maybe if there's men watching this you can buy your girlfriend a valentine's tree mm. I wish I had a man buying me a valentine's tree I've decided I'm gonna buy myself flowers this year but huns I've just got myself some new jewelry for valentine's day consider this uh pretending that a man bought it me <laughs> if anyone asks me where my jewelry is from i'm gonna be like anna louisa but um my man got it me you know that's what i'm gonna say now <laughs> so enjoy huns but i'm gonna go get dressed for the gym put a cute little gym set on get myself in the mood for a leg day and then i'm gonna walk down the beach get a coffee on the way i need a flat white you know also i love the man in the coffee shop he's so friendly and he calls me darling and i'm like hun you're so cute i went in yesterday and sat there with a flat white and wrote my journal because i was feeling a bit down i had some bad news from home the day before so i was just feeling a bit like Ugh meh and i was feeling a bit homesick but i went in there got my flat white and he was like hello darling how are you what can i get for you a strong flat white please sat down wrote my journal wrote like three or four pages was literally <laughs> people outside walking past must have thought what the fuck is she writing is she writing a book <laughs> but honestly i highly recommend journaling because you just let everything out and i felt so much better that's my TED talk, thanks for coming. I'm wearing my 
Gymshark, a little crop top in bright pink, a little orange sports bra from Nike, and then my grey camo leggings. And I'm ready to go. These are the leggings that my mom put in a parcel to send to me. I'll show you. So I already have these with me and my mom bought me these. I'm not mad about it. I promise you I'm not mad about it at all. Would have just liked a different arrangement seeing as I'm on the other side of the world and I don't want the same pattern. I'm not mad about it mom. I'm not. <laughs> I'm raging. I'm absolutely raging with you, Jenna. Let's go to the gymnasium. God, I'm such a good singer, aren't I? I'm honestly like limping. I've got blisters all over my feet, all over my face, all over my feet. I'm gonna have to get the bus to the gym. I'm walking to get a coffee because it's only there and it would be embarrassing for me to get the bus to the coffee because it's only one stop. But, oh, the lawnmower's coming. I'm getting the bus to the gym. <laughs> That's a definite. My feet are really hurting. I really am struggling. I'm struggling, I'm really struggling. <laughs> what is that saying? I don't even know what that saying is. What is it? Um, I'm something, I'm something, I'm really something. I'm struggling, I'm really struggling. I don't know what that sign is. Who knows? <laughs> I've got my coffee. I'm sitting in my usual spot. This is like my new little spot and I love it. Another very Aussie thing that people do here is they say, do you reckon? Like when they know that the answer is yes. Like somebody come in and was like, do you reckon I can get a latte? And I was like, hun. It's a coffee shop, of course you can get a laugh. <laughs> Some funny stories working in, in like a coffee shop or like back in like hospitality. It's actually really interesting. I've just sat and written out the plan for the workout that I'm gonna do. I did the exact same last week and it was so good. I've been doing so many classes recently because I had this class pass here in Sydney, which basically meant that I got like a month free for classes. So I was doing Barry's classes, Pilates classes, like a lot of hit classes. And I loved it because like I went in 45 minutes, done, was absolutely sweating, had such a good workout and I found that like my body was just changing in like such good ways. Like I was only working out like three times a week for say like the last three, last month or so. I think it's because when I was working out I was going so hard in those workouts. So although I joined a gym now and I'm getting back into a routine, which I hope that I can keep this routine for at least like two months now, I hope I can, if I don't move again. I really want to keep up this style of training because I'm really enjoying it. So I've been doing like legs, like standard, like three sets of 10 on hip thrust, like three sets of 10 on like remaining deadlifts. But then at the end, I want to do a circuit, but I've just been really enjoying like, not going crazy heavy, doing weights that I can actually do like really good form with. I'm just like getting sweaty, but hopefully this is coming in a sec. I got on the wrong bus, didn't I? Great. So I'm having to walk up the hill anyway. <laughs> I shouldn't have even bothered getting on the bus. Oh my God, story of my life recently is getting on the wrong buses or going in the opposite direction. Well, I'll say story of my life, this is the second time it's happened and uh, Google Maps gave me two options and I picked the wrong bus, clearly. It's not even about walking, it's about my feet. My feet are in agony. Oh, uh, that's the saying, it's, you're killing me, you're really killing me. <laughs> no, I'm struggling, I'm really struggling. <laughs>
room was very busy so I didn't film the end of my workout but I did 8, 10 and then 12 of box jumps, sit-ups and burpees which is fucking killer. Oh, that's my workout done. I'm gonna go make some lunch and then I'm meeting the girls at the beach. I'm actually running almost an hour late, which is very unlike me, but I said I had to get the gym in today. That was the non-negotiable. <laughs> So I'm glad I did that. I'm gonna make some lunch to take to the beach with me. So I've got some bassa fillets. These were really cheap compared to like getting chicken here. So I just got them. Some broccoli, some cucumber. Oh, and then I'm gonna put some rice in it and just put it in a tub to take to the beach with me because I'm running very light and ah, I'm looking like a sweaty mess. And I need to charge my camera and I need to have a shower and everything, God. I don't like rushing at all. <laughs> made it into the beach. And I've got my lunch. I've made some like fish, broccoli, you saw it already, and rice. I hope it's nice. And then I've just got a protein bar and an apple. And I'm absolutely starving, so I'm gonna demolish it. <laughs> <laughs> Princess treatment. <laughs> Thanks. Oh my God, I can see How are you feeling, honey? Hi. The lifeguard just said, do not swim on the beach. It's too dangerous, but here they all are, swimming. I'm home now and ready for dinner, but that was so sad saying bye to Rian. So Rian is basically the girl that I met in the last place that I was living in an easy rent. Oh, I feel really sad that she's gone. I don't know why. She basically came to Australia at the start of December and then me and her kept joking like, oh, fuck it, I'm going home. And I kept saying like, I'm going home as a joke. And then she said, oh, actually I'm going home. And I was like, are you joking? Anyway, she's going home. So today was our goodbye. And Sean Ed, who Rianne actually come here with, my Welsh friend, well, they're my two Welsh friends, come here with her and now she's going and... That's just so sad. You make such good friends here and then you just have to say bye and it's like, all right then, see you later, bye. I was like, nice knowing you, honey. When am I gonna see you again? I don't know, but she's off to Melbourne and then she's going home on Friday, like going home. It would be the same as me going home now. Actually, it would be the same as me going to like Bali for two months and then just going home. That's what it would be like. And actually, a lot of people I've met recently are just going home. And it has made me consider, shall I go home? And I said to Hope last night, I said, I'm not giving you an answer, so don't get excited. But I haven't decided yet if I'm staying. But... I don't think I will go home. I won't go home home. I'd just go closer to home. I think I would never go back to Solihull. Sorry guys, but that's just not an option. <laughs> Trying to curl my hair naturally by putting it in a bun. Has it worked? I mean, could be better, huh? I'm going for dinner at Totti's, which is like an Italian restaurant, which is meant to be really nice. I've seen it all over TikTok and my friend Caitlin invited me and I think a few other girls are going. So I'm looking forward to that. I think it's expensive as well. So I've got high hopes, you know? Should I put a few curls in my hair? Probably should, shouldn't I? It looks a bit ratty. I'm also at the stage where I'm looking for somewhere else to live now because it's less than a month that I've got left living here and time's ticking. Somebody put an uh, ad up yesterday, no today, was it today? Saying that they had a room free but it doesn't match up with my dates. It means I'd have to like move three times which is just not convenient. So I was going to go do a viewing and then I just told her, I was like, honey, it's not going to work. I'm holding out for the place that I actually want to live. So... I just feel like something's gonna come up for the whole time that I want. That's what I'm hoping anyway, that's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> Might not. No, I actually genuinely think it will happen. So yeah, I hope I get somewhere, otherwise who knows where I'm staying. But I really like my gym now, so I wanna stay there. G's joining too, so I'll have a gym buddy. 
That's exciting, isn't it? I feel like I've only just got settled in Kudje. So it would be a bit of a shame as soon as I bloody get settled to have to move again. I'm back from dinner. It was so nice. I'm in the definition of a food coma right now. Oh, I think there's thunder and lightning outside. I am dishevelled. Is dishevelled the word? What does dishevelled even mean? Siri, define dishevelled. Yeah. <laughs> of a person's hair, clothes or appearance. Untidy, disordered. I'm dishevelled right now, aren't I? I'm dishevelled. <laughs> I'm gonna end the video here for that reason. I need to go to sleep. I've got work at seven in the morning and I've only just put my washing go on the line with my work clothes on it. So hopefully it's dry by the morning. Otherwise, you know, don't know what I'm gonna do about that. How do mums like always have washing done on time? My mum had four children and always had my washing done. Actually, she slacked a bit in my later years, but I remember in my childhood, it was probably done. And then I probably got to about 16 and it went downhill from there. And I think she stopped doing it and we'd always lose items of clothing and never see them again when we put them in the wash. <laughs> but anyway, I hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to use my discount code and my link in the description box for Anna Louisa if you want to check out their jewellery. Have a fantastic day, Hans. I know we'll see you next time. See you later. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile.